Hi, this is Chris and I wanted to speak to you about releasing decklet snails. Uh, decklet snails are purchased online or from garden centers. The thing about purchasing them from garden centers and some places online is that when you get them, they may look like this. Kind of dry and not very lively. And if you purchase them in a container that has any holes in it, odds are that most of them are going to be dead or can be dead. And the reason why that is is there's a small parasite that loves to lay its egg on the shell and that egg then hatches into larva and then eats the decklet snail from inside the uh, shell, a little parasite escargot. So if you get decklet snails, the only way you can really know if they're alive and healthy is to put them in the sun and you really need to be careful with that. What I've done is I've put these decklet snails in this little tray of water and then put it in the sun to wake them up. Now the remarkable thing about this is that these decklets have been in storage quite by accident for almost 10 months and they're waking up today and get sucking in some water. Obviously a snail is mostly water other than the shell but the thing about it is, is when you purchase them at a garden center very often they're still going to look like this right here and you can't be sure that that's actually worth what you paid for it. So until you put them in the sun and wake them up and please when you put them in the sun do not get distracted and go away for a long time. If they aren't moving around in 10 to 15 minutes, it's hard to believe that there's anything alive in there and what's left is dead. And if you bought a package of 100, the company that sold it to you should always, there should be 110 at least in a package of 100 and at least 55 to 58 in a package of 50 and we sell packages of 50, 100, 500 and in, in gallons for farmers and landscapers in large estates. So um, this is about a package of 50 right here and they're all alive. I cleaned them out a little while ago from this container here that I had left inadvertently in storage for more than a year, or not more than a year, for about 10 months, sorry for that. And they're um, starting to wake up. Not all these are gonna wake up. Matter of fact, most of them probably won't. They've been stung by parasite, or actually the parasite laid its egg um, at the uh, entrance of the shell and then the larva went in there and ate the snail inside out. But by leaving this container in the sun, they've been slowly waking up the ones that are alive and then I've been placing them into the um, black tray with some water to get them hydrated and then I'll put them into the landscape. I'm a big proponent of decklet snails wherever they can be used. See, so I've got one that's just waking up down here, starting to move along. It took about 15 to 20 minutes for some of these to wake up. You can see them moving along right there. And I would have never guessed looking at this one that it was actually anything alive in there until it woke up. Usually a, a dark shell is an indication of a nice healthy decollet, but you can't be sure again because parasites can have, uh, have eaten them from inside out. I get them placed into the water. Now again when you get your decollet snails they need to be fresh and healthy and not in a package that hole, has holes in it. There's a company that sells plastic containers that have holes in the top. Um, those ones are going to be very suspect. You're going to want to check those for sure. I long ago created a competitor that sells them in a medical surgical package. That's 
the best way to get them and the other thing about that is that they need to be dated this you want to make sure that you're getting a viable product and it's not much more than 60 days old I used to put a barcode date on my packages I don't know that anybody else does that but again the sure thing is to put them out here in the sun with a little bit of water and get them plumped up and then put them out for the uh, snail patrol this evening these will go out and begin hunting down the snail egg um, burrows clusters from the brown snails and feeding on decaying organic matter.